Hello coders, welcome to our channel. Level up with coding. Today I will discuss about the Peter Skeleton find if find if or exist in graph. So the question saying about that there is a bidirectional graph with n vertices where each vertices is leveled from 0 to n minus 1. Why 0 to n minus 1? Because in the graph in the graph n is equal to n so 0 to 3 minus 1 that is 2. So you can check there 0, 1, 2 are there. The edges in the graph are represented as a 2D integer array edges where edges i equals to ui and vi denotes a bidirectional edge between vertex, vertex ui and vertex vi. Every vertex pair is connected by a by at most one edges and uh, no vertex has an edges to itself. You want to determine if there is a valid path that exists from vertex source to vertex destination. Given edges and the integers in source and destination. Return true if they are valid path from source to destination or false otherwise. So example 1 you can check source is 0 and destination is true so output is true and example 2 output is false. So now we approach it in our pain and test. So the question given us find if path exists in graph ok. So this is a bidirectional graph and the edges are basically in y direction. Why y direction? Because you can check in 0 there are two types of edges 0 to 1 and 0 to 2 and in 1 there is also two edges this is 0 and 2. So you can check we are easily going 0 to 1 and 1 to 2. This is basically bidirectional graph. Okay. So this is the graph and they are uh, the source node to destination node are given. Okay, so those the source node to destination node are destination node are given, and uh, we have to just going source node to destination node. And if there is a valid path, we have to just return true. If there is no any valid path, just return false. So you can check in the first example. There's zero to one, one to two, and two to zero. The graph is given, and there is edges are given. Zero to zero, one, one two, and two zero. Their source node is 0 and destination node, node is true. There is a valid path or not. You can check there is a valid path and we are just returning true. But in the example 2, there two graphs are given. Their edges are 0, 1, 0, 2, 3, 5, 5, 4 and 4, 3. Source node is 0 and destination node is 5. In this two component graph, there is path or not. There is not path. You just check there is a not path. We, we don't starting from 0 and the destination path is 5 we don't go from 0 to 5 ok so that's why we are written it false this is a valid path and the component and the component is just one ok and this graph is connected ok but in this this is a two component graph you just check two component graph two component graph and this is not connected in there so that's why the destination node to the ending node we cannot find any path so that's why we just return false so now you easily know how we return true and how we return false but how we do it we just return edges form to vector form edges form to vector form okay so how you just check in first example 0 2 2 edges are 1 and 2 okay and 1 2 also 2 and 0 edges and 2 2 also 0 and 1 edges 0 to 0 and 1 okay so we just do edges form to vector form and you can check with when we convert it in vector form then it is a matrix and this is a 2d matrix right right in the example 2 you can check 0 2 1 and 2 then 1 2 0 then 2 2 0 then 3 2 4 and 5 then 4 2 3 and 5 then 5 2 3 and 4 right so we just convert it in vector form and this is a matrix 2d matrix
okay so how we just do it basically in there zero adjacency list are connected in one and two one adjacency list are connected in two and zero that's this form we are do it okay so how we do it in this approach okay so basically what we do in there in graph basically we are doing dfs search first okay and in there basically a base case are there just check with the base case then we do a visited visited vector form and we check if it is visited or not then we just traverse it traverse it okay so in the first in the in the first example just check in the first example okay 0 1 and then 2 this is the first example and there a n equals to 3 okay so source node is 0 and the destination node is 2 edges are basically 0 1 1 2 and 2 0 right so how we do it in there just in there just firstly firstly we have to check the current node or the first node okay this is the destination or not if this is destination then we have to just return true okay then then we have we have to and one another thing is we have to check it is visited or not okay so visited the current this is visited or not if this is visited then return it false why in first time this is visited in second time this is visited or not if it, it check if this is visited then return false if these base cases if these base cases are not used in it then we have to make it visited okay so visited the current node is one and we have to traverse the dfs just okay so in zero this is current okay and now zero to where we are going zero to one and two then one to two and zero and then two to zero and one just we are using a visited vector they are 0 1 and 2 firstly all of them are false just check 0 0 is the destination or not 0 is not destination and it is visited or not it is not visited so you have to just return it true and this is visited okay then 0 to where we are going 0 to 1 and 0 to 2 firstly we are going 0 to 1 1 is visited or not and this is destination not so you have to return it true right now this is and we are tra uh, traverse okay we are traverse it 0 then 0 to 1 we are traverse right in dfs right the algorithm are same then 1 to where we are going 1 to where we are going 1 to 2 and 0 firstly we can check 1 to 0 1 to 0 so this is visit it firstly then we are return it false just check we are return it false because this is visited in first time we are once again visited so that's why we are return it false because 1 to 0 and 1 to 2 and 1 to 2 are coming so this is visited or not this is not visited and this is destination not this is destination this is destination this is destination so return true you can check there given us false true true you check there is one is false but there is one is true okay if one case is true you just return it true you cannot check if any other is false or not if one case is true just return true okay so that's why we easily return their true and the path is and we and we find the path easily 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 there is a two path are there 0 to 2 and 0 to 1 and 1 to 2 okay in the example 2 in the example 2 you just check there is no path so that's why we cannot do any path 
okay now we are coded so we are coming to our code editor and this is my submission of the code so in the bool valid path function we are just create a adjacency list to represent the graph so this is the vector we are using okay we are creating and now add edges to the graph in y direction so int u equals to edges of i and 0 and the v is equals to edges of i 1 okay so we are just push in there okay so graph u dot push back the v and graph v dot push back the u and initialize a visited array to keep track the visited vertices okay and then perform dfs search from source to destination so graph and visited source and destination we are using the visited so the visited is check if the if it is first time visited or not so in the dfs function we are doing the doing the same cases so first time the base case if current is equal to to destination then return true if it is visited then return false mark current vertex as what as visited then traverse the neighbors of the current vertex okay because HSMC list ke under traverse karna hai har element se jo non visited hai usme dfs lagana hai and traverse karna hai this is the recursion type of traverse okay so traverse the neighbors of current vertex for the neighbors and then the dfs function just call then return form so that's why we easily code it just run it so all disk is passes okay so it is submitted so this is done and there are the time complexity is basically o of b plus e b is basically number of vertices and e is basically number of edges and the space complexity is basically b plus o of b plus e so thanks for watching